match number 27 of Hong Kong 2017, the trophy quarterfinal. Russia taking on South Korea. Chris Asmus in his 10th match in charge Time on, please. on the World Series. Russia to kick. Playing in the red shirts. It hasn't gone the 10 metres. Now it has. And the referee says play on. So first possession to the Russians through Lazarenko. Filatov gets it out to Sukin. Here is Ostroshko. Prolific point scorer. Gets the offload to Davidov. He also knows his way to the try line. Does German Davidov. Quickly it's recycled. Out along to where Zelatov gets it one wider. And now it's Bondarev. Five short, the pick and go. First try. Vladislav Lazarenko gets the job done. Russia working in tight quarters there. Looks Sajanov may have a shot here. He wisely stays infield. Look at that. Directs right back infield. Keeps the ball alive. And then the opportunity for his teammate Lazarenko. That's good discipline sevens not to be shunted into touch there. That is the distance for the goal kicker. Dmitry Sukin. After play yesterday, they're averaging around 10 passes per try. On that occasion, there was only six passes that got them over the line. And in the two days, Gareth, eight visits to the 22 for the Russians. They scored five tries. Here's their first visit, and they've got five points on the board. Yeah, they really have been improving, and of course, they love this pitch. This is where they dramatically won the qualifying tournament last year over the home side, Hong Kong, to get their core status for this. And season. they want to get valuable points as well. They're down around that bottom end of the table along with Japan. They certainly don't want to lose core status, and the kick giving possession back to the Russians. So hard to fight for his position and then to get it and just kick it back and to defend again means that you're always going to be in trouble. And here goes Zilatov. Zilatov with the offload into the 22. Good clean out there from Sozanov. Again, now Ostroshko thought about passing, then gives it the late cut. Good play here, nice scissors play. They've got numbers, they should have scored there. It's gone backwards though. Sozanov gets it quickly. The numbers are here. In for try number two is Zilatov. Had to be a bit more patient on that occasion, but this is great sevens play from a Russian side full of confidence. Wasn't it every player touched the ball twice? Back to one side, all the way back across. A really good line here. Looked like he may be in under the post, but fortunately went backwards, pounced on, and moved to the open man. But that goes right back to what you noted. South Korea is just kicking the ball away his first phase. We're never going to be able to compete. There wasn't any plan to regain possession. You know, it's very strange tactics from, from the Koreans there. Here is the captain, Ostroshko. And yes, just looking at the Russian side, they conceded six tries. They scored five over the two days, but they conceded only six, and they actually are the top percentage defensive team in Hong Kong at 89%. And look at the passes difference. Yeah, that's uh, when you kick the ball away for his face, the other team's going to have decent pass statistics. Nice high kick and another error from the South Koreans gives the Russians the ball inside the 22. Well, all you can say about the men in white, it is a very young side. The captain, Lee Jai Bak at 25, the oldest player in the squad. Very young, they'll be getting some experience here as they did last year in Hong Kong. But uh, they'll have to go back to the drawing board really and, and draw up a different plan. Well, we saw the stat there about the tackle completion. Best defensive team here in Hong Kong. What a great stat that is for the Russians as they go on the attack again through Filatov. Filatov to the line, seven short. South Korea look interested in the turnover. And they've managed to steal it as well. Jean Wan. Did very well, then he held onto the ball. Here's Ostroshko, they've got numbers out to the left. The left-hand corner seems to be Russia's favourite place in Hong Kong at the moment. And in goes Vladislav Sozanov. More turnover ball, more possession and more right-to-left passing. 
There it was, penalty for not releasing. Zhang Wan at the breakdown. And that's a gift for Sazanov. Player at the Saracens club in Moscow, the 23-year-old. Such a great finisher. Scoring his first here in Hong Kong, his 24th, and that's a better looking conversion, but still to the left. Well, they're dominating all the stats here, Gareth, and they certainly do deserve to be ahead by three tries to nil. Yeah, they are. This is a trophy quarterfinal, so uh, they've done exactly to start day three here. Forget about yesterday's results, the wins you didn't get. Get on with it, and they're trying to lift this trophy here in Hong Kong. South Korea get possession through Jabok. The captain now places the ball. Let's see if they can work something from inside their own 22. Collier just gives it a nice long pass out. Standing out wide is Wang Zhang. And now it's Filatov who takes over again. The Russians red hot this morning. Ostroshko dummied and went through the gap. That's not Ostroshko, that's actually Lazarenko. And as quickly as you like. And he scored the fourth try in this game. Well, that's how good he was. He looked like a Strasko, siding through the Korean defense. Turnover ball yet again. Watch this. Head up, head up, showing the ball, two hands. He took his chance. we have got to say, Gareth, that Russia have been on the circuit as a core team, then they weren't, and then they're back in the frame. And this is the best performance I've seen from them in the seven tournaments. They are such a different side when Ostroshko is with them. Vladimir Ostroshko is the architect, and I don't know, he just brings, seems to bring a lot of maturity. Yeah, he does. And the other thing I've noted, we know that Davidov and Ostroshko are great penetrating runners, but the rest of the players are playing their roles. The defense is solid, as you've noted, and uh, they can get in behind these stars and, uh, and get some results. Again, it's Jabok that goes up and taps it back. Can South Korea score their third try here in Hong Kong, their first in this particular match? And there's a man that scored two yesterday from the Korea Army forces in South Korea. Sik Yun, now he breaks through the offload. They've got plenty of pace if they can just get through that advantage line. Isolated, he hasn't held onto the ball. They've got a good line out out to the right-hand side if they straighten and draw and pass. Russia could be in trouble here through the gap. One more pass would have released one of the players that was free, unmarked. Good passage of play here from South Korea into Shun Jong. Shun Jong comes across to where the big forwards are standing. Tackle made by Sozanov. Entry. Yep, Canadian referee saying it's the entry and South Korea want to get on with it. Zhong Wan slips on the surface, holds on to the ball. The clean out is a good one from Jihon. South Korea looking for their first points. Russia trying to keep their line intact. And this could be a turnover here. Sozanov had it. Ball just pops out. The Russians, they've got numbers here to burn out towards the right hand side. And the knock on means that there is an advantage to South Korea. Been strong as Jin Yuk. They'll get the penalty again, and we're into referee's time. One minute 40 seconds of extra time here. There's punishing in the game of sevens. Repeated infringements here. I wonder if referee may look to his pocket. Moguman well, taps. Straight ahead they go. Two meters short. They should be able to score here. Lovely tackle from Davidoff. The Canadian referee wants to have a discussion with the... I don't think he's got there, Gareth. First look. Well, I don't know what the TV is going to tell us that referee Asmus couldn't see there. He's in great position. Down on one knee. We're going to have a look through the television match official. There's the reach for the line. He spins around. Does he get it on the white line? Just short. I think it's a little bit short. It looks to be a penalty there. I wonder why he blew the whistle if he's short. Well, if he gives it, it'll be a... Yeah. Chris Asmus present for South Korea. <laughs> How long you have that in your pocket?
They'll credit Asmus there. He's in goal. He's had a good look. He's now getting the word. That's the correct ruling as well. We've gone an extra three minutes, and so that is half time now. We can all get our breath back. Four tries to nil. Russia lead at the break, 22 0. Yeah, lucky to, lucky to be making up the numbers. But uh, they're in a duel with Japan. That last spot. The high restart for the second half. And it's controlled by Russia again. Up high goes Lazarenko to bring it down. Filatov into the contact, stay strong. Numbers out to the right. Good ball movement. Davidov gets it out to the winger in the 15 aside game. Their captain that's gone forward, drifted forward from Ostroshko. Well, the one nice thing about being up 22 points to nil is you can try a few things with the game not exactly on the line. Off, I think uh, Strushko has been watching the Fijians trying to put that ball into space. Right idea. Didn't quite execute. Okay. This is a trophy quarterfinal match between Come South on. Korea and Russia. There is Alexander Yanushkin, terrific player in his time. And in fact, he joined the management team, and every time they've had injuries, he's had to pull the boots back on. <laughs> so good to know that. You can get into management, and if required, you can be part of the team. He's a wonderful player, often in the sweeper position. Was Jan Yushkin. Speaks great English as well. Yeah, helps the boys on the circuit. Just looks like Russia much more comfortable on the circuit. Know their place, but right now it'll be South Korea with an opportunity. And they push the ball into their playmaker, into the midfield, through Guman. He again goes one wide, and Jong Wan's been good for them in jersey number 10. No space down that right hand flank, and so they just look to be patient here, pushing the ball from one side of the field. Now back into the contact with one of the hard concrete mixers, and Jong Wan gets it, but he loses it forward. And here come Russia again. Ostroshko is capable of going 80 meters. Two defenders in front of him. Lovely little offload pass, and they're gone. The high knee action from Dmitry Sukin. And to score Russia's fifth. Well, this time Ostrushko nailed the pass, beat one man, set it up, and just laid it into space. We're gonna let the clock run down a little bit here. Sukin. Right through the middle. The South Korean defense been exposed. Look at this pass. He's not passing to a man, he's passing to space. And lets the man run into it. There it is. Beautiful stuff. A good finish from Dmitry Sukin. First try of the second half through an error from South Korea again. Passes completed are starting to even up, but that score line is just running away. It's been one-way traffic for Russia. But South Korea still being strong, and this is Jun Wan. He's big and strong. There's the 22-year-old here on debut. In fact, just about all of these players on debut, just one player from South Korea with some sevens experience in the big occasion and the turnover gets it back to Sozanov. Sozanov throws the dummy and then he throws a, some sidestepping as well. And supporters Filatov needs to stay away from the touchline though. Russia on the attack. Good lineup out to the right hand side. Ostroshko hasn't scored a try in this game. Has scored 87 in his career and he's going to get another assist as well. The offload from the captain. They race away. And here comes Ilya Babaev to get his first of the game. Babaev getting his 10th for the season, but Ostrushko's found a new role here. As the defenders collapse on him, he seems to be the offloader. He's providing for all his teammates, and that's unselfish. That's good to see. Seven missed tackles from the Koreans has possibly led to the six tries. 
conversion is successful. Narrow losses for the Russians against America and Argentina gave them confidence to beat Scotland by 14 points to five and they are continuing with that. Not one missed tackle by the Russians. What a performance. Into the contact again they go. The tackle from Kotsushev who's just come on in jersey number 10 for the Russian side. Good width being used here from South Korea, but then just offloads or the odd mistake, the error that is made has given the ball back to Russia and they've certainly cashed in, but now here comes Zhong Wan. They're just really missing that danger man, someone to bust a hole in the Russian defense. Well, another mistake again, and so that's gone forward and Bondarev comes back to where there are more Russian players, then they push it out to the left-hand side. There's another missed tackle from South Korea, Filatov patrols the middle of the park and goes straight ahead down Main Street. Filatov, some footwork. Filatov's too quick. <laughs> and he'll score his first in this game. There's the smile. Edward Filatov had enough. He cuts back inside off the right foot. Look at that layered defense from the Koreans. That's where all the holes are. And in the end, he just comes off the left foot and has a little bit of fun at the end. We're all in Hong Kong having a great weekend. Well, he's been on the circuit for a while. That's the reason why he knew how to finish. Young Vitale Zivatov made his debut here in Hong Kong in 2011. Missed a couple of years, of course, Russia not being a core team. But it's a word we can use with this Russian side today. They have been clinical. No question. They built on that pool form, as we said, very much in touch with the big boys. And on a bit of a run here in the trophy. Well, I'll tell you one thing they want to do is crack 50. Something tells me that Russia sense that there's an opportunity they can actually score half a ton against South Korea. But South Korea have different thoughts on that. They wanted to get their first try in the game. Good run there from Daiwan. He's held up. Now they flood the area. They come swarming in to make sure that he does get to ground. This is the best passage of play we've seen from South Korea. The bump and run now comes down to the sprinters getting back. The first one to get back is Sozanov. Gets rid of one, can't get rid of the second. Good defensive work from the Russians to get numbers back. Ostroshko throws it. They've got numbers out to the left-hand side. They're going to have to go 90 metres, and now it's the kick and chase the ball. In fact, the touchline will win the race. Game over. Seven tries by Russia. They have beaten South Korea. Comfortable scoreline of 43-0.